Hey, how's everyone doing today? Uh, welcome back to another Jason's Tech Talk. Um, decided today I'd do a little work on my computer. Um, my reservoir is a little bit low and thought this would give me a chance to kind of show you where my computer's at. Uh, we did a video not too long ago about what my daily driver was and it's been upgraded a little bit since then. Um, this will give you a chance to take a look inside of it and also I'm going to uh, top off my radiator or my reservoir um, with a little bit of coolant um, so a little bit of a tutorial on top of it but mostly just uh, so y'all can see what I'm working with these days well let's turn this uh, camera around and see if we can get a shot inside all right here we got my little system this is what I call the beast uh, she's the one that does all my um, editing work um, and mostly my gaming which is my thing um, but first thing we're gonna do before we do anything is we're gonna hit the switch here and turn it off and unplug the power always want to be safe uh, now I've already undid four of the screws that way it wouldn't have me fumbling for five minutes while I'm doing this and we'll just pull the glass off set it down here now I've got a GTX 1660 Ti video card, a little uh, uh, G, G, uh, XPG uh, Gamex um, NVMe. Um, I've got an EK reservoir and pump, uh, EK radiator. Um, I have a Phantom, a Fantac 350A water block for my heat sink for my CPU which is a Ryzen 5 3600 uh, and then I have um, seven fans in total I have top and back is exhaust one back two top and then I've got two um, front intake underneath the cover and then two inside pulling air through the radiator which is also pushing air in uh, but that's what I wanted to show you that and just putting a little bit of water in this uh, cooler right here. First, we're just going to take the top off. Being real careful not to make a mess. And I'm going to try to do this without any paper towels or anything. So let's hope we don't make a big mess. Now I've got my jar of um, colored coolant. Uh, this is the EK cryo fuel, uh, the white. Some big fat guy must have put the lid on it. I'm not sure who that was. And then we've got our uh, uh, funnel and hose put onto that. And we're just going to drop it down in here a little bit and slowly pour in. We don't want to overfill it and we don't want to drip it everywhere. So we're going to pour real slow until we get it full like that. We're going to pull it out so we don't make a mess. <clears throat> Put our lid back on our coolant because we don't want to spill it everywhere. We don't want to pull a Linus Tech Talk and spill shit. And then put the lid back on. Now I know that the uh, reservoir and pump is a little bit crooked in there. Uh, I don't have it screwed down real tight because I'm about to switch to a different case uh, here soon, I hope. So I didn't want to go through the trouble of screwing it all down. Perfect. But it's in there. It is screwed down with one screw. So it's not going to flip over or turn over. Um, but that's basically it. Just wanted to show you guys my system and basically how to top off your reservoir if you need to. Oh, I guess we could go ahead and plug it up. and fire it on 
And you can see what it looks like with all the fans and stuff running. Well, that's it. Thank you for tuning in. I hope the video was helpful, uh, maybe a little informative. Uh, I want to thank everyone for their support, uh, all the comments and, and likes that I've gotten. Um, and if you would, please, you know, throw me a like down, leave me a comment. Um, my link in the description below for my Patreon page uh, could really use some patrons and some contributors um, so we can, you know, buy some stuff to do, some reviews on, uh, get some equipment. Um, but any, any contributions would be very appreciated. Um, again, thanks for coming in, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.